Let's take care of the turkeys over there. <laughs> Alright, so I got my buckets down there. We're coming out here today. I got my brother Ben with me from Florida. <laughs> well, it fell over. Don't trip over the buckets. Yeah. So, uh, so I got my brother Ben from Florida. He's got the, uh, the beehives down in Florida that we've done a couple of videos on. And uh, so he's up here in Kentucky with us, hopefully to get some deer and uh, just to visit with family. And we're going to do our Christmas up here in a little couple more days. But uh, he's coming out here today to check on the uh, maple sap. Let's see how much we can uh, get. So um, this is kind of interesting. It was an experiment that I started to do uh, this year was um, see if we could actually get maple syrup in the fall because Kentucky's kind of unique in the uh, uh, the region that we're in that uh, we spend the majority from like uh, November on to uh, February and sometimes even into March to where we have All right. so that we have below freezing temperatures in the evening time but then we also have it to where it rises above freezing in the daytime so this next week we are actually going to have uh, a great uh, a great run, I guess, for maple syrup. That um, it's going to be doing that pretty much uh, four or five days. So, so yeah, if you can look on here, we're going to have one one day, two day, three day, four day, and then maybe even five days to where it gets it's 34 but it, I mean it could break down below freezing and then even coming into the next couple of days we're gonna have snow but uh, we're here we are we're in uh, December everybody usually says that you don't usually want to start making your maple syrup taps until like January February March but uh, and you only get like a, a two-week season but we're actually getting sap here so we're gonna actually come down here check the buckets and uh, maybe put out another tap and see what we can get. So here we go. So I actually came through here in, uh, in August and uh, marked my trees, my maple trees with orange, orange dots. And so you can kind of see I got uh, multiple maple trees down there. And then uh, uh, obviously where you see the buckets at, those are maple trees that I have tapped. But, uh, these are smaller maple trees, but I at least got them marked, so I know. So it's, it's a lot harder when the uh, the leaves fall off and trying to tell which ones are uh, maple trees. So last year when I was trying to experiment with tapping, um, I came through here and started drilling some trees and uh, discovered this uh, season I wasn't getting any sap but uh, I realized when the leaves came back on the trees in the spring, they're actually pin oaks, not maple trees. So that, <laughs> that was the reason why I wasn't getting any sap. <laughs> All right, so we're here at the first tap. Um, I double tap these two maples right here. I put a single tap in both of the maples into one bucket. And, uh, oh yeah, that's, uh, that's got some syrup in there. I guess technically sap. But uh, it's uh, we'll see. So this is after four days. I think we had like two or three days that went below freezing. Yeah, that may be a gallon. You see in there? A little bit of debris, but we'll strain that out. But that's from two trees right there. So that's awesome. <clears throat> we actually may need to go get some more buckets. <laughs> Look at this. Beautiful. So I just boiled down. So as you can tell, I mean, that's probably about... Um, I'd say probably about a gallon, and I I boiled down three gallons, and uh, it ended up giving me about uh, two 
two cups, or I guess, what? Yeah, about two cups of maple syrup. <laughs> so three gallons gives you two cups of maple syrup. But it's so good. All right, bring us some more. We're gonna go. All right, so I got, uh, this is pretty cool because I got three trees right next to each other. So I was able to set up like two, two different buckets with the uh, double taps on this tree right here. And then uh, had uh, one tap into here and another tap into here. So, oh yeah, uh, we got some in here. So far we're doing really good. Each, each of them has been about a gallon each. So. looking good I need more buckets <laughs> yeah we are I was not expecting this that's awesome so what we may have to actually do is, yeah I got I got about a gallon in here too May actually have to do is take one of these uh, buckets back and then empty it out and then bring it back. That's gonna be enough right there. So this is uh really awesome because I mean this is you know something that we're looking at getting into on the frontier season arrows we're gonna start trying to sell a little bit of maple syrup and then uh, you know do the honey and then goat soap so a little bit of extra stuff to help the uh, property come along every little bit helps Those done. So this was a larger tree, so I ended up doing two taps in it as well. And so this one tree actually yielded about the same the same amount of sap as like what these single trees did together. So, those of you trying maple syrup, this is the way, it's, this is the way you get it. Surprisingly uh, clear when you uh, get the, the sap out of the trees. And then once you uh, start boiling it down, then it starts to get the, uh, the brown caramel color to it. Yes, yeah, a medium sized tree, I'd say probably about 8 to 10 inches in diameter. That one actually did, did not have as much as the other ones did, but like I said, every little bit helps. And this was just after um, four days of having the taps on the tree. So. Was this the first tap this season? No, uh, this was the uh, this is the second tap. So the first tap I actually did was an experiment, uh, just to see if you could get it. Just to see if I could actually get sap in the uh, the early months. So now that uh, I've discovered that you can get the sap, 
I put more more taps on the trees and this is the first time I've checked having all the taps on the trees So you got like another 10 inch tree down there too. Yeah, it's a gallon. Another gallon right here. We got what? Uh, just the tree down there. Yeah. Another decent size and then you have one right there that you're not using yet either. Yeah. And then we have the granddaddy. See if we can get some taps in here, see how much uh, sap we can get. I got a, a bucket with uh, a two tap. So try to make two taps out of this and uh, see what we can get. So how far are you trying to go with the taps when you go in? Well, it really depends on the tree, but maybe about uh, an inch to an inch and a half. And I'm actually going to try to get something to prop this up. see how much Big Bertha can uh, get out of her. Why'd you put the stick on top? Uh, just to weigh the bucket down until it gets sap in there. Oh. Because it's really light. So, and then uh, just a little bit of uneven surface so that way it just kind of gives weight if it, the wind blows. Gotcha. Uh, oh. Alright, go ahead. Alright, so we're putting it in the pan here. This is going to be the initial uh, first burn off. Like I said, um, a lot of people they'll put it on uh, gas, propane, or over a fire and render <coughs> it down. But basically, all we're doing is burning off a lot of the water. And so, in doing so, um, I found that uh, this is like the cleanest and easiest way to use electricity. So, and then uh, you can usually boil down a good amount in these uh, turkey roasters. So, what gonna, setting do you put it on to start off with? Huh? I put it on uh, 300 or 350. Okay. And then so that way we, we found that that actually does a lot better than actually turning it all the way up. 
because it, it uh, if you turn it too high, you'll start to notice like it, it, it'll start to get like a burning smell to it. So this way it actually we don't want to burn maple syrup. You don't want to burn maple syrup. Don't <laughs> don't burn maple syrup. Yeah. So we got this going, and then uh, we got another one that we're gonna get started up here and get some sap down. So. All right, go ahead. All right, so I like to can the lid just a little bit just to let the uh, steam burn off. So, and then uh, we'll come back to it. It usually takes about a day or so. For it now, to, why would that be important for dehydrating it? Yeah, so you don't have the condensation keep inside the, the, the pot. So, yeah, good point. <laughs> 